Hello ladies and gents, you may be wondering why I'm on Uproxx. What is this travesty? I know, I know, tell me about it. But this is quite a good article to be fair. Um, and it's all about Guillermo del Toro. I've butchered that name. Uh, his At the Mountains of Madness. Now I've got that original script. Monumentally expensive that film would have been. A good script, like not bad at all, but bloody expensive. Turns out, there is the potential that he's going to make it for Netflix. Yeah. So, obviously, that's the headline. That's what you've already seen. Uh, there is actually the potential that he's looking to make it for Netflix. Specifically, I quote, a weirder, smaller version of At the Mountains of Madness for Netflix. I'd love that. I would truly love that. So, I thought what we'd do is break it down. Now, for those that don't know, because there's a lot of people that just sort of cruise by the channel here, there, and everywhere. Well, massive, uh, you know, I, I really like H.P. Lovecraft, right? I've even done audiobooks on this channel. A lot of people compliment my voice, you know, so I thought, well, I self-produce audiobooks then. And if you want to find them, you can. They're quite simple to find. You either YouTube search them, uh, or you go into the Lovecraft Cthulhu playlist, and you'll find them there. Some of them are like an hour, hour plus long. Uh, you know, Color Out of Space, for instance, very long audiobook. And I, I, I do like his work. I do. Um, it's, yeah, tricky to, to, to read through sometimes because of how old sort of English and the uh, sentence structure that it was. But it's good stuff. And the potential for an At the Mountains of Madness, huge, such huge potential. I would absolutely adore this. I'm sure many of you watching this would as well. So let's take a look, shall we? And we'll take a look at the whole article because it gives some background on it and things like that. And stuff which, you know, I could do in a narrative, you know, a sort of a off-the-cuff way. But I'd rather just take it from here um, to give you guys a, a more well-rounded background anyway. So when it comes to good old-fashioned capital H horror, no one does it quite like Guillermo del Toro, who is, by the way, is heavily inspired, heavily inspired by H.P. Lovecraft. It is one of, he, he lists H.P. Lovecraft as one of his singular inspirations behind his works, right? And that's really important to note. Really important to note. Now, um, so... Luckily, for all those eager fans working on an adaptation of one of Lovecraft's novellas, At the Mountains of Madness, has been one of del Toro's greatest ambitions for quite some time now. However, nearly 15 years ago, after he first had the idea and sat down to write its screenplay, del Toro says now he wants to go about making the proposed movie, uh, or, the, or the way he wants to do it, sorry, is quite a bit different. And it, it's all because of budget. It would have been monumentally sky high. Ridiculously high. And an appearance on Fangoria's Stephen King-centric podcast, The Kingcast, Del Toro sat down with hosts Eric Vesp and Scott Wampler to discuss his upcoming projects and made mention of his elusive At the Moment is a Madness film. You can find the script online, by the way, for those that are curious. Uh, you can find it online. It is floating uh, around in the ether somewhere. So... Um, Following Del Toro's signing a multi-year deal with Netflix, which is something I probably reported on at the time, but it's nice to be reminded of it. I'd forgotten about that. Now, the filmmaker said that The Mountains of Madness was one of the first film ideas he pitched to the studio. Though he realises now he would have to do a serious rewrite of the film before it went into production. So straight away, boom, sign this multi-year deal. Hey Netflix, would, would you be keen on, on uh, making this with me? Good. That shows ambition. That shows determination to get this project off the ground. It shows true conviction behind a project that he truly loves. So he says this, um, and I quote, I went through the cupboard and found Monte Cristo and Mountains of Madness. Those are a couple of the ones I presented first, Del Toro said. The thing with Mountains is the screenplay I co-wrote 15 years ago is not the screenplay I would do now. And good, because the budget was way too high. So I need to do a rewrite, not only to scale it down somehow, but because back then, I was trying to bridge the scale of it with elements that made it somewhat able to go through the studio machinery. Blockbustery. And I think I don't need to reconcile that anymore. I can go to a far more esoteric, 
weirder, smaller version of it where I can go back to some of the scenes that were left out. <coughs> Try not to blow your eardrums out. Yes. Esoteric, weirder. Yes. And this is the, one of the benefits of uh, Netflix as a production company plus distributor when they sign with, with you know individuals of the caliber of Del Toro. You know, the caliber of Del Toro is up here and they sign with them and they're able to go, right, okay, well, let's let's try and appease you because obviously the caliber of Del Toro. Um, how do you want to do this? We'll let you do it the way you want to do it. And yes, there are some ways that Netflix sort of get involved in these things, but I can't imagine there'll be much from Del Toro that they'll want to get involved in and really, um, you know, put their sort of studio fingers in that pie. And that's one of the benefits. You deal with something like Universal, for instance, or Fox. Fox is notorious for getting involved. Their executives were well-renowned for just, you know, sticking their, you know, their, their sort of fingers in the pie and muddling it all up. Terrible stuff. Absolutely terrible stuff. So that's fantastic. And that's really, really good. Um, now, they say here, you know, according to the rap, Del Toro's original take on At the Mountains of Madness was an ambitious 3D affair with Tom Cruise starring and James Cameron producing. Uh, followed a disastrous expedition to Antarctica that leads to a group of explorers discovering ancient creatures. I mean, that is At the Mountains of Madness anyway. Ultimately, Universal pulled the plug on the project after concerns at the budget and its R rating. Uh, and Del Toro would then pivot off to make Pacific Rim, where you can kind of see... Oh, discoveries, oh, you know, expeditions, oh, monsters, eh, similar-ish, not the same, but eh, you can see the Miss Del Toro's vibe, isn't it? Uh, since then, Del Toro has also worked on several other large-scale opulent films, such as The Shape of Water, Crimson Peaks. Um, because of that, the director said he's less attached to some of the grander scenes and set pieces in his original script. The set pieces would have been great, but for H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, it's not actually necessary. You know, it's not key, it's not pivotal to uh, Lovecraft as a genre, as well as a storyteller, um, you know, hit, hitting its mark. Grand spectacles are not actually uh, the point of Lovecraft. It's the implication of a grander spectacle. Sometimes it can just be the person going insane at something they see off camera that uh, could be more Lovecraftian than a grander scale. Um, anyone who's read any of his works would probably agree with that, I'm sure. Would it be great to see these set pieces? Yeah, absolutely, of course it would be. Um, no, no, he says further this, um, that, you know, making it easier to part ways with the original plans for At the Mountains of Madness. And he continued to say that only four horror set pieces from the original script will remain in his new version, as well as intriguing, weird and unsettling ending. So that's good, right? So he says the following, uh, I'm settling down in the post-pandemic domino because everything that I had spaced out for three years, all of a sudden uh, deliveries came at the same time. But it is my hope to make it the Mountains of Madness. Now that's important because he's actively rewriting it or has actively rewritten bits of it. He says there's only four set pieces that are there, you know, and we've got a different ending. So he's actively changing it. He is actively pushing this. So there is actually now the potential we are going to get Del Toro's at the Mountains of Madness. That should be something horror fans, movie fans, any lovers of horror out there, you should be just over the moon at this news. Because that is fantastic news. Can't stress that enough. That, that will be absolutely stellar. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, have you read the script? Have you got the script? Some people do. You can find it online. It's floating around. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Guys, please do check out those H.P. Lovecraft audio books. You might like them. They're, you know, I, I, I get a lot of compliments on them. I'm very proud of that work. They take a bloody long time to make, but I'm, I'm really, really proud of it. So please do try and find them. Please do check them out. Uh, guys, if you're new here, do hit subscribe. Give the video a like. Thanks so much. <clears throat> take care.